All right, hey guys, so today I'm gonna be unboxing the 25 Nerite snails that I went in and ordered from eBay. They just showed up. I paid $18.50 for 25 olive Nerite snails. That was the smallest amount I could buy was 25 on the seller that I chose. So, you know, I just went ahead and went for all 25. They're also like 50 and 100 packs. As you can see, it's live snails right there, and that used to say live animal before I covered the info up with tape. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this. Taped up real well. So we have the styrofoam. Here we go. We have a little little air pack. And then it looks like right here's 30. So I'm assuming that means 30 snails. He did say he would send a few extra. There's that. There's some little instructions down here. Yeah, some instructions right here. We'll go ahead and open those first. So this right here just kind of tells us how to acclimate them and everything. Lots of information here. That's really nice for them to include that. I'm going to go ahead and read over this and then we'll go ahead and open up our snails. All right. So it basically goes over acclimation, which can't be too difficult. I won't show you guys acclimation because I'm sure you know how to acclimate stuff. By now, basically you can just float it in the water or do drip acclimation. But we're just going to go ahead and make sure they're all in here and doing good. I don't even know how to open this. Oh, there we go. And then I'll just kind of show you them all in the tank. So there is, he did say there was a thing of paper towel in there. So there's one of them. This guy's definitely alive. He's moving around. But so far they look pretty good. You can see their shells are actually a lot cooler than I expected. You can't really get it on camera. But they do have a nice pattern to them. You probably won't be able to see it. Now I'm going to go ahead and empty out their water that they're in. And then I'm going to go ahead and dump all of them slowly into it, my little specimen container. I'm gonna go ahead and acclimate them that way, get them used to the water, also let them sit in there just to make sure they're all alive. Then I'll go ahead and start adding them to the tanks. I also plan to try to add a few of these to my saltwater tank because they can transition to saltwater. I'm definitely gonna try that. So here is 27 of them. Three of them I already have acclimating my saltwater tank. I did a little thingy that I read where if you put them on a little floating piece of plastic, they can kind of enter the saltwater when they want. I just put three in there right now just to see how it goes. As you can see, a lot of them are moving around. I'm pretty sure they're all alive, but I'm not sure 100%. But so far, I have a pretty good success rate. It looks like all 30 of them seem to be doing okay. But we'll just kind of go ahead and see. All right, so it's currently the next day. And as you can see, I have them all put in the tanks. I basically put them in that cup uh, for a few hours just to make sure everyone was alive and moving. I think I only had two, one or two that were dead on arrival. So I had the rest and then I just ended up dropping them in each tank. As you can see, this tank has quite a lot of algae, so I put three of them in here. And then I just went ahead and put them in a whole bunch of my other tanks. I put a few in my goldfish tank right here and then some of my cichlid tanks. I basically did about three in every one of my tanks that needed it, that like needed some algae to be eaten. And so far they're doing really good. As you can see, there's a lot of algae in this tank, but I'm hoping they'll be able to clean it up and do just fine. They do have a pretty cool shell pattern with the stripes. But yeah, if you're looking for some snails, I'd highly recommend checking eBay if you want to buy in bulk. Got a really good deal on these. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Good. Bye.